All right, the first day of Mall of America just happened, so let's see what we can learn from some of these most exciting matches that we see today. In our first match we're going to watch today, we have 7121B and BarkBots 11101B against 9123C and 91231X, which is also Raekwon. So it's two Raekwon teams versus these two red teams here uh, out of the US. We see a pretty pretty good auto out of blue, but I think an even better auto out of red there. I think we can skip forward a little bit. Red is going to take the auto bonus here. And as the match commences, we're going to have quite quite the quite the competition here. We're going to be able to see just how dominant 9123's or Raeguan's strategy is and their their teamwork against BarkBots, right? Who's one of the, the best performing teams in the past couple of years, making Dome three times in a row already and winning Worlds even once. So this is going to be quite an exciting sight to see when you see that 9123 getting straight to work there. 9123X uh, kind of defending that top corner. 9123C a little bit slower. And these aren't even the best 9 one one teams at the tournament, I would say. I would personally think that uh, 9123X is actually better. But as we as we go on here, we can see a pretty clear standstill between these four teams, right? So what we saw earlier that China did really good was that they would kind of force their opponents to move, right? They forced their opponent to, you know, make a play elsewhere. And then they would, they would, they would force one of the, uh, one of the teams off and then hit a, hit a D score or they might just D score this, this poll instead. Right. So that pipe instead. So let's see what happens here. And if that's going to happen in this case, they're going to try to bait. Yeah. They're going to try to bait. And that's exactly, that's exactly what they do here. That is exactly what they do, right? They, they're going to leave and then they will come across, push BarkBots out of the way and hit a clean D score. That's exactly the teamwork I'm thinking, I'm talking about out of these Raeguan teams. Super, just absolute class gameplay out of them. I think it's very impressive. And now they're back at a standstill, but with the Blue Alliance up now on both of those pipes, right? With that clean play, now they're up on both type pipes now, but here, that you can see now this this portion of the goal is tied all right only barely maybe barely in red's favor actually it's in red's favor how is blue gonna gonna make this differential up well they're gonna first hold it and you can see on the far on the far end there nine one two three x is doing a good job gaining even more ground on that goal but I just wanted to point out that 9123C is juggling their tasks. They're doing a lot of everything, right? They're kind of descoring that center goal and then coming back, playing some more defense here. I think the biggest problem uh, that BarkBots runs into, he into here with this match is, is that they don't they can't descore, right? Their 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 robot is not nearly as as good at descoring as 9123C. And 9123C sneaks in here and gets themselves jammed between BarkBots and the, and their goal. And they're able to get the, the full control zone. And ban absolute dominance on these goals. And a 7121B tries to use their D score mech. All 9123X has to do is just to sit there and wait. Sorry, I mean 9123X, but they're all the same. Who's really counting? Right. And as the time counts down, there's really nothing that that red can do in this match here. Right. It's gonna really just go to go to blue here. As long as they just hold those those control zones fine and red isn't going to be able to because what red needs to do here is is make a play where they where they kind of like group up onto onto one robot right because i think i think each of them playing ones each of them playing one-on-ones is not the way to work not, not the way to play this game right there's no way that they're gonna let you d-score on a one-on-one -on -one. you if you're down this much already you need to play a two-on-one -on -one. you need to you need to lock down this guy and then you need to hit a huge D score or you need to lock down this guy and then hit a huge push, right? I think, I think this is better. I think the bottom pull is better. The bottom pipe is better. Cause as long as, as long as you can push him out of the way, you can knock your own blocks into, into, into the zone there and, and kind of bring back the deficit a little bit. Right. But they're not going to do that here. They're going to just hold the, the zone and they're not going to be able to do anything. And I think that's going to exactly why the Chinese teams are so dominant. Uh, at least in their in their own strategies with each other. I think that's that's exactly why. And next we're gonna watch Qual 107, right, with some absolute Chinese dominance again out of out of 9123X, right? I think arguably the better 
break one team. I think this. Uh, I think I honestly would bet on them winning this tournament, but we'll see how how it goes tomorrow. But yeah, nine one two three X definitely. I think I think one thing that they do extremely well that most American teams don't do is the little push at the end, right? I think that is absolutely meta, right? You do a little push at the end and knock all your blocks out into the middle and then knock the opponent blocks out of the goal. Absolutely. Class gameplay here. On the red lines, we have 18888A and 7701X, right? With a flat bot and a, another pretty, pretty t- small bot, right? So they're both kind of able to maneuver a little bit better than the, on the field than the, than the blue robots would be, but not really taking advantage of that. They're kind of just driving very slow and not really running circles on the on blue teams. And blue teams actually be able to do a good job running circles on them. We can see 9123C having amazing capacity there on a, on a front, to back, two back, uh, front to back bot there. Full goal, even with one block falling out the other side. Right, Red Lions not really going for any D scores at this point, even though there could be some D scores be, uh, that could be played because it is it is kind of kind of cooked for right right now. Blue c- controlling pretty much two full goals. All right, we're gonna see this get even even further ahead with some D scores happening by the by nine one two three uh, X here. If you notice, they have this little mechanism on the robot here. We can backtrack a little bit. They have a a little I think standoff or something on a piston that use that that they're use, utilizing to push the the center goals and then they just use their intake the passive hood on their intake to push the the long goals right and it works so well they're able to descore so efficiently as we as we speak the top gets slightly descored by the red line alliance but 9123x is probably going to go there and just clean that up and here they're going to bait they're going to bait right they're going to go up there and they're going to hit a clean descore a huge descore there as as a uh, 1888a gets kind of kind of stuck in the corner there and look at their game sense. Look at their game sense, right? One, so their teammate, they, they tell their teammate, hey, hey, we need to go and make a play here, right? Pin them to the corner so we can get this D score, right? They get the D score off, and then what happens, right? Right away, they're they're down here on where the next thing is happening, right? They they kind of like see that this guy is going for a D score right away, blocks it. That's some absolute class gameplay. That's insane. But yeah. This is why he's so dominant. And at the very end here, this is even more crazy. Yeah, he sees a huge opportunity here to just de-score that full goal and bam, even their opponent scores a, a blue block for them. This is one of the, the largest upset, uh, largest like point differentials we've seen at Mall. But yeah, that's just, uh, it's just crazy.